Welcome to the first episode of the Blackout Broadcast brought to you by EMP Pro, your go-to podcast for everything about grid down scenarios and how to protect yourself and your family. I'm your host, Mike Bellamare. I'd like to introduce you to my two co-hosts. We got Jed Staples over here on my right on. and Sean LaBelle over here on my left. We uh, did it. So this is the this is the first episode of the Blackout Broadcast, and uh, we're gonna do our best here. It'll get better as we go, I promise. All right. So with this podcast, what you can expect is you can expect up to date information about current EMP events, solar flare events, ways you can insulate your businesses and your homes from these electromagnetic disturbances caused by the sun and uh, worst CME, case scenario, uh, EMP event. Lightning. All kinds of electrical. So, I mean, it's, we're going to dive right in. So what I want to go over, the main point of this is our why. Why are we doing this? Is we're doing this because uh, everybody needs to prote be protected. We're living in a modern civilization with technology. Everything needs electricity. And almost everything, including your toaster, now has some kind of computer chip in it. Uh, the biggest threat we face as uh, as a planet, not just a country, is the big light bulb in the sky, I always say. Um, CME, coronal mass ejection, is caused by a plasma filament that breaks away from the sun, comes towards the earth at millions of miles an hour, and when it hits the upper atmosphere, it just comes in and causes an electromagnetic disturbance, which can fry all modern technology, cell phones, computers, uh, uh, everything, You're anything, anything, and er anything and everything, cars, yeah. airplanes, you name it. If we got hit with a large enough CME, it would knock us back to the stone ages almost immediately. Yeah. So again, our why is to bring this information to the public and help America get insulated from these events as fast as possible. Um, yeah. Like that Carrington event. Imagine what that happened nowadays. If yeah. So yeah. four to six years to get back up to like. 80%. Yeah, That's so the pretty wild. Uh, Carrington level event for anybody who's interested. Um, Carrington level event happened September 1st and 2nd of 1859. What happened was the Carrington event was the most powerful geomagnetic storm on record, named after the British astronomer Richard Carrington, who observed the solar storm uh, associated with the event. Uh, this event was so big that if it happened today, it would knock out all the grids um simultaneously it would just take everything down when this event occurred it was the time of the telegraph so you had people sitting in little shacks clicking the button um the event caused the telegraph lines to melt off the poles and the telegraphs inside the buildings actually caught fire it it, it took down the entire telegraph system uh set them on fire like they, they, you can get yeah, no canned were... veggies they, you know that train that train's gonna be late yeah. Yeah. What's the time frame on uh, replacing transformers now on the grid if they if they got burned up? Not ten good. years. Ten. It was yeah. It was ten years. Six to ten years. If we were to get a CME above six point one, and the transformers, it's crazy how you know the grids really aren't protected. Um, military is. You know, government is. But it's just now to the public, which is wild because, I mean, it, not even a a threat. I'm talking just natural events and. A lightning strike, your 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 house is toast for quite some time with crazy weather we're having. I mean, but I mean, so the basis of it is so so an EMP is an electromagnetic pulse that would be caused by a nuclear weapon, low yield, detonated at a high altitude that would would go off and take out different levels of electronics in a circumference circle. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll go yeah. over that in future episodes. But the big threat, what I want to talk to everybody about is, is our sun is approaching a solar maximum. It's uh, expected to peak July 25th of 2025. And now the military has already been putting measures in place for a decade now. They're protecting their infrastructure, their vehicles. And there is a product that exists that is military spec that is sole sourced and sold to the military and all the big three-letter organizations, FBI, CIA, these guys have been doing this stuff now for for ten years. Yeah, so we're our our, our military and government infrastructure is pretty well protected. The, the military, especially the military technology, is on top of it. But if the military is doing it, we should yeah, yeah, do it, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, absolutely. So right now our sun is hitting the solar maximum, and and anybody watching this, especially in the upper 48s, uh, what was it last weekend with the aurora borealis visible as far south as Texas and Florida? 
Alabama, yeah. I think. Yeah. Alabama. Dude, I mean, and, uh, right, we're California. here in Denver, and it was like just Did a you short see it trip, Did short you trip see it? down to Wyoming, I didn't right over the border. I didn't see it in Denver. Yeah, it was pretty cloudy, so I don't remember. Yeah. It's pretty wild. Wyoming. But again, so the whole point of, of the Blackout broadcast is as we progress through these weekly episodes is to just bring you more information and and educate everyone on how serious this actually is. Absolutely. And there's been some more recent solar storms too. It I mean, seems they're getting just more. Seeing the old stuff. Yeah. I mean, just this past year and um, was it May? Yeah, May May 11 to the 13th, knocked out a bunch of communications in Africa. Said something had to reroute some planes. I mean, yeah, that's wild. That's not good. This is the one back in March 23, 24, and 23 also. That was a double X class solar flare. That sounds pretty cool. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, if that were to hit today, it would be just everything down all at once. And we're totally not prepared, as as just on the civilian level, you know, hospitals, you know, all meat storage, all refrigeration, Mm -hmm. all. All credit card transactions. I mean, you're talking well, everything. Everything, everything. going down. I mean, there was a solar flare two days ago. It was an X 8.7 that ripped off from a sunspot, but it wasn't Earth facing. But if that was Earth facing, it would have caused uh, extreme disruption to power grids. Yeah, Radio communication goes down very quickly. I mean, you have an X 1.5, an X 2, and it messes with radio communication and, and internet. Uh, so we'll talk a lot about CMEs. The yeah. big thing we got to look at right now is space weather. When you get an Earth-facing sunspot, mm-hmm. those big black spots you see on the sun, that's what causes uh, solar flare. That that plasma filament rips off from those dark spots on the sun. Is that pretty much a solar storm at that point? Exactly. It's a geomagnetic solar storm. And there's there's other it's guys all wild. over all over YouTube and, and different platforms that talk about just the solar weather. So we're going to mix that in. But our main concern is to talk to you about current events that are happening, and how you can get protected. And that's why we're brought to you by EMP Pro. EMP Pro is a turnkey national company, and we have one goal of insulating the United States from these events. Because as we all know, we all need power. So as we continue through this, we're going to continuously plug EMP Pro. You can go to emppro.com, and we have packages to protect your home panel, your cars, RVs, yeah. generators, solar systems, batteries. Uh, that's what EMP Pro is all about, is to help the American people protect themselves from solar flare events and worst case scenario, an EMP attack. Yeah. I mean, right now, what do we got? We got Russia and uh, Iran threatening. Don't EMP forget North Korea. North yeah. Korea. I mean, it's getting... Uh... It's getting World War Two ish vibes. Three. You know what I'm saying? What we, are, say. we already had number two, Jed. Yeah, we're, we're on number three. I know. <laughs> yeah, we got five. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, ah, oh, man, I'm winning the, the, you know, fundraising event's going to start. <laughs> you know, it's pretty wild. Yeah, don't forget that, that Quebec blackout, too. That one was more recent. That was back in 89. That knocked out their whole substations in Quebec. The, from a solar storm. Yeah, I mean that's that's, that's a blackout for nine hours. And anybody anybody watching this that's stuck around this far, this is the first time we've ever done anything like this. We're we're just we're really excited to start talking about this and and getting the American people up to speed yeah. on how serious this is. There was an executive order put out in March of 2019 by Homeland Security that literally spells out the process to get states and cities insulated from EMP and CME events. And all of this will be uploaded to both the Blackout Broadcast website as well as EMPPro.com. So the Quebec Blackout demonstrated the vulnerability of modern power grids to geomagnetic storms. It led to increased research and investment in monitoring and mitigating GICs and inspired the development of more robust protective measures in real-time monitoring. So that goes back to, it was 1989, Quebec blackout. Uh, Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, so what was that? Did they have the level of that storm, Sean? You got the notes on that? What what was the class of that? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't think it had it on the report that I looked at anyways, but I can definitely uh, 
look into it. Look, we'll post it on our website. So if anybody wants to look it up, it was uh, uh, March 13th, 1989, the Quebec blackout. So what happened was a powerful geomagnetic storm triggered by a CME from a solar flare. Um, it literally took the power out. Nine million, six million people were left without power. Uh, and I, we really got to get the info on what class flare that was so we can update people on uh, the different levels and what that can actually cause. It's pretty wild to think about, you know, within 60 to 90 seconds, six, mil, six million people. Oh, yeah, power out. Snap of a finger. Yeah, it's and, like and in nine hours later. Up. I mean, well, you can't, you, yeah. I mean, there's no, you know, warning system for that. Yeah. You, even you, though I think that they feel it should be. Well, so there is, if you watch some of these guys that, that follow space weather, the geomagnetic storms, as soon as you get an earth facing sunspot, depending on the size of the sunspot is going to tell you the class of flare that's coming out. Like the eight point X 8.7 that just hit that, that sunspot was like a hundred thousand earths. It was just yeah, this massive black spot. Wild. And, and we'll get, we'll get more that's detail. A big hole. Yeah, that's, man, a, that's, that's a big hole. That's we'll, a flare, bro. <laughs> we're going to get, we're going to get more detailed and dialed in as we bring this to you. We're just really excited to, to launch the blackout broadcast and just get the name out there. So you guys can see our faces and, and just start to be aware of this. Uh, a lot of the, the viewers and the listeners, you're going to jump on Google, do some research, jump down that rabbit hole, Google EMP. What is an EMP? What is a yeah. CME? And just start to get educated on what this stuff is because knowledge is power. Yeah. yeah. And the, main, the mainstream media ain't going to talk about this stuff because I don't I don't really know, have a good reason why they won't, but they should be. Well, we know, know about this. media is media these days. It's so much misinformation coming from everywhere that these, that's why this podcast is necessary. And let's not think that it's only just, you know, CMEs and EMPs. What about lightning strikes? You know, this, this is something that affects Lightning's quite a wild. few people. It is. And, lightning you know, is wild. There's 2.1 billion lightning strikes globally every year. You know, that's, yeah. people don't think about that. Yeah, but 92 million in the United States alone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right <laughs> Think here. about what are you, you're pretty good chances of getting, <laughs> I mean, maybe not you personally. That would, that would suck. That might be game over for you, but it hits your house. Well, unless you got that oh, EMP shield. Fried, yeah. So, and yeah, we'll get into the products that we use for coverage. But I mean, I'm looking at some notes here that Sean put together. In, in 2023, lightning strikes caused an estimated $407 million in damages yeah, that's globally. Wild. Um, that's wild. Fires and other related incidents. I mean, so the device that we use, so we'll dive down that rabbit hole a little bit here. So the uh, company that we partnered with is called EMP Shield. Their device is tested per military specs and protects against lightning better than any other product on the market. I mean, their product is is so good that if you have damage to your home caused by lightning and their device doesn't protect your stuff, they're going to send you 25,000 bucks. Yeah, that's that's definitely standing that's behind solid, a yeah. good product yeah. right there. It's a lot of big screen TVs to replace. But yeah, they're... a lot of big screen TVs to replace. But so EMP Pro is your turnkey provider of EMP and CME protection. Uh, and lightning. And lightning. Yeah. No one forget lightning. But, and, uh, you it, know, power spikes. It's anything that were to happen to the grid down the line, wouldn't be, you wouldn't be affected if you had the EMP shield that EMP Pro offers to install and facilitate for you. And as we roll through this, we'll we'll be showing reels of the sponsor and and the device and how it works. But again, you can go to emppro.com, and you can see our entire turnkey packages on on how that can protect your home. Absolutely, yeah. So what what else you got for us here on the Blackout Broadcast? What latest events can we reference to show? The severity um, of this. I, th I mean, I thought those two uh, documents, the EMP Commission, I thought that was an interesting one that I printed out, as well as uh, your touch base, the Homeland Security one. Um, and I, um, there was one more. Is it not in there somewhere? Sorry, this is our first one. It's a little rough. It's, yeah. Bear with we're, us. We're kind of tripping all we'll through. It's also we'll great, there. you know, because. Thank God for editing. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 you know, what's dope is, like, if, you, if you're if you protected by EMP Pro, you know, you get your insurance claim. Let's say you get damage to your house via lightning. You're going to get that claim because you have a professionally installed device 
that is in backed and warrantied. So insurance will accept that, you know, versus if you're like, Hey, I got this makeshift, whatever, they're gonna be like, well, now we're not going to pay you out. So, yeah. I mean, and it, just think about your car, man. If you got an EMP blast or a CME that hit hard and you, you got to get your grandmother to the hospital, you know, and the hospital's 80 miles away, and you have a car that now will still do that. You know, that's, that's a no brainer. And, but, and then, and then we just dive down the rabbit hole though. If as a country, if we're not protecting all of our infrastructure first, if yeah, your car's running, but if, if organizations like yeah, hospitals, so true. they're not investing in this technology, their generator is going to be knocked out. Yeah. Their life support equipment's not going to work. This device, just to keep it simple for anyone who understands electricity in your bathrooms, everybody, we all got the GFIs with a little green light on it turns red when it pops, right? Uh, your GFI pops in a millionth of a second. This EMP shield device, it blows in a billionth of a second. Wow. And that's awesome. It's not a one and done. These devices can take multiple hits from yeah. lightning strikes, yeah, yeah. from from uh, EMP or CMEs, and and we have uh, third party testing, and you'll see some of that on some of these other channels that are going to sponsor us. I'd like to give a shout out to Survival Dispatch, uh, Chris Heaven over at Survival Dispatch. Yeah, buddy. Uh, yeah, good, good buddy of mine, and uh, he literally tests every product that he puts on his podcast. He tests it third party all the time. Not gonna talk about anything unless he 100% believes in it. And we got video of of us testing the EMP shield with 800 volts. Uh, that's that's a lot of volts, and and you can find links to those videos. We'll edit it, put it in. If it's up here, down there it's somewhere, but we'll have, we'll have links to everything. So, I mean, like we said, first episode, it's a little rough. Uh, <laughs> yeah, give us a shot. We'll, we'll get better as we go, but you guys got anything to add to it? Well, I will be in a better shot of the camera next episode, but we're limited on the length of our camera cable right now. <laughs> yeah, we are. We're sorry about that. Go. The room is, is in its preliminary state. Preliminary Under construction. Stages. Yeah, Under the, construction. the studio is going to be. I mean, you got to say that we got some pretty dope microphones, though. I mean, well, our setup is going to be. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's going to be yeah. good, you know. And it's just just talking about and educating the public about what is going to be extremely important for us to carry on as a nation, and is all is all also for our families and those people we care about. You know, this is something that like Mike was saying, is going to be written into electrical code because of its importance. And, you know, we're relying on what 90% you'd say of electricity and all things that are electric in our lives. I mean, you were, we were talking about at hospitals, right? If, if an event happened, an EMP or, or a CME, the hospitals are down, generators are down, everything goes down. It's just like hitting a light switch and watching the light go off. But <laughs> Stone Ages again, dude. Everything. It's like back to the Dark Ages, yeah. literally. Like, so I mean, that's it's scary. It's scary to talk about, but we have the technology right now to insulate it, and this yeah. is going to be yeah. written into code here very quickly, where it's going to be on all new builds, cars, every technological piece of equipment from a cell phone to a car is going to have some type of EMP type protection built Yeah, I mean, doesn't it. Tesla puts their batteries in a Faraday cage, right? Yeah. There's yeah. a reason for that. You don't just do that. Yeah, yeah. No reason. It's not totally protected, though. There's... Well, I mean, that's a good point. Like, it, it, why are they doing it? So let's go to the military. Why yeah. Why did the military contract Completely someone to yeah. build a device to protect them from EMP and, and CMEs? Yeah. To... The, the threat of EMPs, too, is greater now than it has been even since the Cold War. Yeah. I mean, it's all in that commission report. Mm -hmm. It's in the Homeland. There's a reason why they came out with that recently. Yeah. Yeah. Why else would Homeland Security put out an executive order uh, spelling out exactly how to protect infrastructure for, for cities and states? Absolutely. So the way I look at it, if the military and the government are doing it, we should probably be doing it, yeah. too. Okay. Yes. Now the public has access to that technology. So even better. Yeah, and and that's what EMP Pro is for. So Blackout Broadcast, we're going to bring you information and and educational pieces as much as possible. Talk about current events globally uh, in regards to potential EMP threat. But again, that big light bulb in the sky has the ability to knock the entire globe back into the Stone Ages. Yeah, in yeah. a heartbeat. Getting a little angry out there. It's yeah. I mean, those geostorms, dude. <laughs> Space weather. 
Baseball. I wonder what that's like. So we should probably put some <laughs> links. We should. So we're gonna we'll include some links for some of these guys that that do space weather, and and they can bring you up to speed on sunspots and plasma filaments and all of that that techie stuff that I, I'm not I'm not into all of that too deep. But at the end of the day, what I can do is provide a product and a service that will protect all of your electronics yeah. and everything you need to be safe. We'll have some guests on too that I'm a little bit more knowledgeable about that kind of stuff. Maybe you can get some like science, real science people on here. Oh so yeah, yeah. I'm sure some scientists would... explain it more. Yeah. In more layman's term for the public. You know, remember you can always check out EMPPro.com to you know check out what we can do for you and also what the parameters of this product that we we're presenting from EMP Shield is all about. It's really just like changing your oil in your car. It's a necessity with today's society. I think it's something that we all need to look at seriously because uh, it seems to be a increasing requirement and threat, you know, from weather, from space, from the sun, and also from the current state of our, our country and the world right now. It's I mean, wild. let's touch base on that. Why are we sending all of this money overseas when those tens of millions, billions of dollars yeah. could be getting pumped into our electrical infrastructure. I mean, we're a first world nation with a third world power grid. The power <laughs> grid is literally the glass jaw of the United States. It is it fact. Really is bad, yeah. yeah. We could take all that money and be insulating our system to be protected in the event of an EMP or a CME. I mean, you got to think about it. If grids go down, water treatment centers, uh, natural gas, uh, power plants, toast, uh, communication with satellites, radio. Uh, Everyone would be lost. Wouldn't be able to use their GPS. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have to go back to paper maps. <laughs> go back to grid maps. Yeah. Like, what is this legend? I mean, you what? guys, you guys see War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise. <laughs> no, dude. The best uh, one is uh, Leave the World Behind. Oh, that's brutal. That's a that was a movie. perfect example of how, yeah, yeah. How sh the ship, you know, crazy shit could get yeah. going if people, if we GPS went down and you know some kind of weird. No or communications. Or if you're or whatever it may be. Yeah. If you're a rural, you wouldn't even know. Yeah. You'd be like, why are there planes crashing around me? And why does this huge tanker come right up to the 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 beach? You know, it's it's pretty wild actually. But I mean, wild, that's just the Teslas when they just all of a sudden just all started going crazy. Yeah, they blocked have you, blocked have you the seen highways. The they just started crashing into each other. I'm sure. I'm sure. Wild. We're, we're going buses. we're going down the rabbit hole, folks. We're going down the rabbit <laughs> hole. But that's that's the point of the show is we just want to bring stuff to light. <laughs> Knowledge is power. It always has been. The more we talk about it, the more we can plan, prep, and be insulated. And it's yeah. not like we're talking about about something that is not fixable that's the the big thing is we can insulate and prepare for something like this and at a very reasonable cost too i mean and it's american main product that you know you can trust and it's been tested i mean that's that's yeah, it's made in kansas yeah. it's you an know, american so. made product with american workers made right in the united yeah. states and we kansas. should we should really put this at the forefront because if we were to go down i mean every there's so much that would be affected. And, I mean, just the safety of so many people that rely on energy and electricity to survive. Which is know? which is everybody, unless you're living in the jungle. So yeah. Yeah, everybody yeah. So, watching that laptop that, that means or you. that <laughs> smartphone in front of you, uh, an EMP or CME would knock it out. Fat. Yeah, I mean, we're talking flashlights, you guys. They wouldn't even work. Yeah, so, the the newer flashlights, the ones with the LED chips. Yeah, them. I mean, I guess yeah. if, <laughs> if you go old school, the big yellow one, you know, with the big old button on it. Crank, I guess crank battery. Oh yeah, the solar, but the again, solar like flashlight. Tesla, they wrap their batteries in a Faraday cage. With a Faraday cage, it's it's literally either an aluminum bag or or a copper bag that just yeah. stops the the electrical disturbance from getting into the electronics. And uh, EMP Shield, the manufacturer of these devices. Uh, they make them for cars. They make them for boats. They make them for airplanes every... soon. Yeah, soon, yeah. soon to be airplanes. FAA if the it. FAA will clear the uh, overweight of a pound and a half, I mean, just yeah, tell the pilot don't need a big don't need a big lunch before you fly the plane so it can be protected. I mean, he's like, I can't eat my burrito, but I won't fall out of the sky in the event of an EMP. I'm sure he'll comply. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those heavyweight pilots. You don't want no diabetic pilot on your flight. <laughs> you got his insulin, you're going down. <laughs> so it's it's fixable, and we're going to continue to to talk about this until we're blue in the face. Solar maximum, roughly July of 2025, and that doesn't mean after 
2025 that we're out of the woods. I mean, we're going to continuously be facing man-made threats, EMP, or big light bulb in the sky threats, CME. So as we continue through this, we'll get better. We'll get into more yeah. of a flow. Uh, anybody who's stuck around this far and, and is still here, uh, we care. Our why is to protect you and your family from electrical disturbance, which is a real thing. It's a modern first world problem that we all have to deal with together. Okay. So, and I know most of you listeners out there are probably already in some level already prepared. Maybe you have a generator, solar, all that. That's all good and fine, but something happened to it. You're right back to where everyone else that isn't prepared. Yeah. It's a great point. Yeah. That's a great point. You got all these uh, uh, preppers, uh, survivalists out there. You're, you buy your generators, you buy your solar panels and your batteries. You got your truck all loaded down with the best gear. But at the end of the day, if, if you do not install one of these devices, none of that matters. Yeah. Yeah. You're on foot. Yeah. Literally for the cost of what, three months of food, you can protect all your stuff yeah. and then some. And it's, you know, it's backed, it's tested. U.S. made. I mean, this is this is a no-brainer, you know. Military spec test. Yeah. Too. I mean, it's shit ain't no joke. Yeah. They actually it'll make all it. the difference. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you can go to our website emppro.com. You can hit our landing page and reach out to us, and we have our packages spelled out, turnkey, a la carte, build your own package. Uh, we would love to help you out if you're a DIYer and you want to do this stuff yourself. You can go to empshield.com. And you can use our coupon code, which is EMP Pro 50, and save $50 off each device and install it yourself. At the end of the day, we just want to get the information out and we want as many people as possible to be putting these devices in. Yep, absolutely. And we'll be showing you all about this. We'll have the devices, we can go through them as you know, we progress with further episodes. So, but I mean, I think this was a, a great first recording. Uh, listeners, anybody watching, we thank you for your time. We thank you for being here and, and listening to us. Uh, the next episode is going to be filmed and aired a week from this coming Monday. So this episode airs Monday. This will be going live on Monday. Uh, and we're going to come to you weekly. And it'll get better each time as we start to put this stuff out there. And the link to the uh, blackout broadcast, we'll, we're going to be putting that on the emppro.com site as well. So you guys are going to be able to find us on there and subscribe. And uh, we're going to have some uh, giveaways, right? Is yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. I mean, so I'd, I'd like to touch on a, a big one. So we're going to be doing our, our first public event as EMP Pro in the blackout broadcast. Uh, that's going to be here local in Colorado, in Colorado Springs at the Tanner Gun Show. Yeah, buddy. Uh, June fifteenth, June fourteenth, fifteenth, and sixteenth, and uh, we'll get you the the location and the event center. I don't have that in front of me; I wasn't prepared. Um, but that event will be uh, doing event only discounts for certain packages, and we're gonna have a giveaway of an entire home package where we're gonna protect your panel, solar array, and batteries, and generator if you have it, as well as two vehicles. This is about a three thousand dollar package that we're gonna be giving away. Uh, so we're really excited about that. And we're, some free stuff, T-shirts, stickers, yeah, popcorn, all that, popcorn, all that free popcorn. Stuff. Everybody loves free popcorn. <laughs> It'll be a good time. Come down, check it out. Yeah, but as, as, as we continue yeah. with the Blackout broadcast, we're going to have raffles and giveaways all the time. That's going to be the thing. Is Like we said, is we want everybody to be protected. So if we got to host raffles and give stuff away to have our listeners and the American people protected, that's what we're going to do. So yeah, well, We'll have it uh, set up so every... Hundred subscriber, get a gets a T-shirt, and every thousand we can do a little giveaway EMP shield practice. Yeah, I mean we got the you know we can you can as we move we got the blackout brigade. Or you tell us what you guys would rather be. Yeah, that's another thing is we want you to subscribe. You know, you 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 click that like button, hit that subscribe button, and become a member of the blackout brigade. And we're gonna have weekly giveaways. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Plus great tips, hints. Mm -hmm. So Side just uh, real quick, that Tanner Gun Show is in Colorado Springs at the Norris Penrose Event Center nice. on June 14th through the 16th. That's Friday to Sunday. So, yep. so definitely, you know, come and say hello, sign up, put your name in that raffle. You never know. 
could win it. Yeah, yes, could win. And and that so at that show you put the raffle in and we will announce the winner here on the Blackout broadcast. Nice. So uh it was great spending some time with y'all. Thank you for tuning in and we look forward to talking to you on the next episode. See Later. ya. Y'all.